Hi YouTube and fellow Dot2 fans. I thought I would start off my brand new channel by talking about the very first ever Dot2 story from the classic series called An Unearthly Child. <coughs> um, I have accidentally got rid of my my um, old channel which held most of my um, Dot2 reviews that I've done. I've mainly talked about the classic series but I've talked about some Matt Smith ones as well. I might review them again or I might just simply copy the files over as I've already got them. But, uh, but I'll cross the bridge when I actually get to it. Um, so um, the very first ever Dot 2 story is called An Unearthly Child. Let me focus on that because that looks terrible. There we go. An Unearthly Child starring William Hartnell as the Doctor. Um, this comes in a box set with with um, with um, a total of three episodes. It's, you know, it's the first three ever Dot Two stories that were ever produced, and it comes in a box set which is called the Beginnings Box Set, <clears throat> which is kind of self-explanatory. Um, all Dot Two fans should have this in their collection. <clears throat> and uh, if you're wondering about what Dot Two um, to, to actually start off with from the classic series or what stories your best bet is to pick this up um, as it's really really good um, it has obviously it has an unearthly child the Daleks and the Edge of Destruction I will be reviewing the um, other two episodes um, so yeah stay tuned um, so an unearthly child this is an underestimated story by fans, as far as I am concerned. <coughs> um, fans believe that, and well, I mean, to my understanding anyway, that this wasn't the best way to kick off this, the the um, the um, series, and um, and um, that is true. Um, this isn't the best ever Doctor Who story that I have seen, and uh, neither it's the worst. Um, it's it. You know, it's not in my top ten. Um, doesn't mean it's not any good. Of course not. It is brilliant. It's simply not the best ever story to start off with. But back then they didn't even know who the Doctor was, or what the TARDIS was, or what even the general storyline was. They just knew you know, that it was about an old guy and had some companions and had a time machine and had loads of adventures. They didn't really know the backstory of, of um, who the Doctor actually was and where he came from. So, um, um, let me just show you the box first. So, at the front, we have a picture of Susan Foreman, which um, <clears throat> is the Doctor's um, granddaughter. And as far as I'm aware, the only companion from the classic series that is related to the Doctor. Um, on the left of her, you have um, the gates to the junkyard. Um, which is the first scene or first location where we see the TARDIS, <coughs> and 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 um, quite an interesting thing. It actually has Foreman on the gate, which is Susan's surname. So I'm not sure if she probably got that surname or um, or actually saw it on the gate and thought, hey, you know, I've got no surname. Why can't I just choose Foreman? It's you know, it's on this gate. Anyway, I'm bragging, um, or actually blabbing on rather. And on the right you have um, the TARDIS itself, and also why it's still fresh in my mind. Um, in this story we find out that Susan was, or actually is the person who thought of um, the, the name of the time machine, or actually made it up, which is which um, stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. I hope I've said that right. Um, it's a PG. Um, got moderate violence, although it has got violence in it. So if you're watching this with, um, or um, I mean, if your children are watching this, I would watch it with them, especially on the last part, <coughs> as it's got more moderate violence in it. Not too much, but yeah, um, bit scary. Also, it's got a picture of William Hartnell down there. The William Hartnell years, 1963 to 1966. It's got the spine, very nice. It's got a picture. Uh, it's got a series of pictures from the episode. It's got a blurb of the story. It's got some special features. Not too many special features. The only thing interesting or worth watching is the is a group of four <coughs> comedy sketches about the Doctor Who series, 
And this was originally broadcast on the BBC um, between the 23rd of November to the 14th of December 1963. If we open this bad boy up, we have a booklet which has some background information on the episode. And there's the disc with Susan on it. And this is a four-part story. Um, so, an unearthly child starts off with um, <clears throat> these two school teachers talking about their this this um, unusual student called Susan. And the teachers' names are Ian and Barbara, and they both teach history and science. I'm pretty sure they do anyway. Um, and they're discussing their, um, this this unusual girl Susan that takes their classes and they are taken aback how she's brilliant and she seems to know everything but at the same time she seems a bit unusual and a bit peculiar um so um one day they they actually um because i mean they want to understand that they want to get to the bottom of why she acts the way she does so one day she um so i mean one day they follow her back to where she supposedly lived lives which is inside this junkyard and when they go in there they discover that um that, I mean, there's this um elderly uh, man that is trying to keep them away from susan because they think that she's in this telephone box which at the time they think that it's just a telephone box or a cupboard or whatever you want to call it and um and um they actually force their way onto the TARDIS, and um, there's a brilliant scene on there. Um, I won't spoil it for you. Um, brilliant. And um, somehow they activate the TARDIS, and it goes back in time to the Stone Age, where all the cavemen are. And there is this tribe, um, which we see of all these cavemen and women, not being sexist, and there's these two males within the tribe um, that want to become leader. One is called Cal and one is called Zar. <clears throat> um, Zar is trying to create fire as fire within the tribe is is a very symbolic thing. It, sim it actually symbolizes power and unity and strength and whoever creates fire is the leader and the strongest within the tribe. And, and um, Zara is doing his best to to actually create fire, as his um I, you know, I'm actually pretty sure his father was the one that originally created fire for the tribe, and he gets very frustrated that he can't do what his father done, and um, and uh, Cal is is trying to take that responsibility or power away from him by creating fire himself, <clears throat> and when the tribe catches. Um, catches the doctor and his companions they know the people of this i mean cowans are know that the doctor and his companions know how to make fire but they want to hold them against their will and 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 um and um make them self-leader of the tribe if that makes sense um it's kind of frustrating because well while you're actually watching this episode you're thinking Come on, why can't you go back in the TARDIS, grab a lighter, give it to one of the cavemen, tell them to grow up, and we'll be on our way. Um, it could have been done like that, but it's a real historical story. It's a really interesting story about power and responsibility, and a sense of belonging um, to a group of people and being accepted. And and um, there's a massive confrontation or a big confrontation between. Zar and Cal right at the end. Um, that's the bit which I mentioned that might be a bit violent for for, for um, younger viewers, so caution on that, parents. <clears throat> um, so yeah, um, it's a really really good story. I won't say how it ends, but it's really good. It's a four part story. <clears throat> it has the um, original pilot, which was broadcast, but not, but I mean not liked by Sidney Newman, who created the the dot two. Um, idea who actually came up with the idea of, of this um story and and um yeah it's a really good story um i would really watch it um it's 
rating I would give it out of 10 is a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, really, really good. So next, uh, I'll be watching the Daleks, and I will be reviewing that um, sometime next week and putting it up for you guys. So um, I, hope, um, I hope you liked my very first ever episode for my, well, I mean, review for my brand new channel. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, put some comments down below if you want me to do any videos on any other Dot 2 stories, whether it's classic or any of the up-to-date up stories. Or if you want me, you know, or um, if you just want to give me any feedback or any comments, just put them down below. Um, so yeah, um, I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.